Note of the future, I guess it would be. Interesting. Was not expecting that. I thought there was going to be a boss fight. Oh, Cthulhu's in the background. You got the key of courage. Appearing only for the one who would venture into the biggest unknown, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Uh, is there a boss fight? There was no checkpoints in this place. I've just realised. Oh my. Wow. Oh god. I'm gonna say I must need to use that whenever I can. That did not really help. God, this thing is scary. Ah! Ah, fuck. I just got numbed. Mmm, delicious. It's quite fast. For something so ugly. Fuck. Oh god. Great, that was done. Yeah. This thing is getting a bit too close. I died. God damn. Just trying to escape this thing's a bitch. Who would have thought? That it would be such a bitch. And a whoosh. I always use it too early. Or too late, so that it doesn't even have any sort of advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ah. Uh. God, this is one hell of a chase. I make it? I think I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Oh my. Well, we can't come back. But that is the future. So what do you expect? Well, that was unsightly. Yeah. Well, you made it back. Never again. This is incredible. What did you find? An abomination I couldn't describe with words. Sick! Anything else? I found one of the music notes. Yes, I knew it. Do you know what this means? I guess we're one step closer to lifting the curse. That, and the shopkeeper has to do the dishes for a whole week. I won my bet. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, there we go. Woo! So I'm curious if there's going to be a boss fight or anything. So what should I do next? Oh, wait. Through the power of music, the skull shall meet its maker. There it is. God, it's only been 40 minutes. Shit. <laughs> Thankfully, we do have the DLC, so I'll make a start on that. It sounds better on vinyl. God, I've getting so many achievements. At long last, the melody is complete. Okay, what's next? Heck if I know. What? My knowledge is limited to the prophecy, which ends with the gathering of all music notes. Well, someone here has to know. Indeed, brave messenger. It is time for the first of our order to share with you the origins of the curse. Be right back. Oh... Okay. This better be important. <clears throat> Behold, the melody is complete. Impossible. Could we finally be nearing the end? I complete the melody. Do you know what to do next? Well, I guess it's only fair. Okay, I officially forgive you for saying my shop didn't look like a shop. What? When we first met, I was really happy to show you the place. And then you said it didn't look like a shop. Have you been bitter all this time? I was just trying to do a small talk. Sure, whatever. That's behind us now. Seeing how much progress you made, it's about time I filled you in on what's really what is really going on. Here we go. Okay. Eons ago, a civilization of giants lived in the clouds, protecting the world from unknown forces. Okay. Where is this leading? Centuries went by in harmony until one day they watched helplessly as the world suffered a massive flood. Oh. Oh. 
Only a single piece of land remained. I'm trying to figure out how this fits in. Ever adaptive, humanity gathered its survivors and built a huge temple where they would try to find a new meaning. Ah, oh, they're like brown stick people. Answering the call of these troubled times, a formidable couple stepped up to be their leaders. Ooh. Gifted with a beautiful voice and an other otherworldly ability to create mesmerizing trinkets, everyone called her Muse. And he, ever stoic, fearless and mysterious, would become known as Phantom. That's the shopkeeper. Without a doubt. After a decade of relative stability, the skies begin began flashing red, as if a war was being waged against the sky giants. Ooh. Ooh. Indeed, an army of demons, destroyers of worlds, had found the human realm. I like how they all look the same. With humanity's protectors soon to be extinct, Muse and Phantom inspired everyone to prepare for the inevitable onslaught. The demon army was too strong, the temple was lost, and Muse was killed while trying to protect her people. Fighting back tears, Phantom picked up her final creation to keep as, as a memento. The music box. Really? <laughs> Abandoning the temple to the Demon King, he les le led the last survivors of his race to the western edge of the island. Oh. Which is where the game began. <laughs> oh my. That final stand proved successful, and after instructing his people to rebuild and stay hidden, Phantom pushed his luck. Okay. Blinded by rage, he darted towards the temple, or towards the temple in a foolish attempt to take down the Demon King. And I... Wait, but the shopkeeper's not dead, is he? Maybe he is. Who knows? Insulted by the boldness of this broken being, the Demon King opted for a punishment worse than death. <gasps> oh. You shall become a shopkeeper in a video game. Corrupting his love's memento with demon magic, he turned Phantom's music box into a tether to the human realm. Oh. Wait, so is that why we've been on repeat? It's like a loop. Every 500 years, they would come back to torment hum torture humanity until they abandoned all hope and surrendered to extinction. Ah. So yeah, it's, that's why we was on an endless loop. Until now. Phantom was forced to wear a cursed mask which would steal his mind and keep him in a state of perpetual distress. Hmm. <laughs> Inserted into the music box, he would play the organ forever to keep the relic's magic alive. In this both mental and physical prison, he would be the one to ensure the curse on his legacy was maintained. <laughs> Where is this going? But Phantom's will was a strong one, offering his lapses of, sanit of sanity where he could tap into his growing understanding of demon magic. Why oh, look so sad? with that mask. The fight to get rid of the curse would last centuries, so his people would need the ability to, co to cooperate across generations. That's where the scroll came from. Yep. So this is not actually a boss fight. Really? Time travel was the key. Oh. <laughs> With his last stretch of sanity, he wrote a scroll, imbuing it with enough power to attune its carrier to time magic. <laughs> Before losing his mind completely, he teleported his final hope, the scroll, to his people's hideout. Okay, so that is not the shopkeeper.
As they soon realized, the scroll let them see strange manifestations, things not every mind could stand. Only a few brave adventurers had a strong enough will to carry the scroll. They called them messengers. Wonder if it's gonna show the chick that went crazy. Nope. The one that went evil. With the ability to step through space-time tears, they had access to the Void, a safe haven outside of time. Messengers from all time periods would soon gather there, the perfect meeting point for their endless war. Whoa. But as it turned out, meeting denizens of the future, or even one's alternate self, could be troubling for some. Man, look at them all. Actually, it's, it's those three, isn't it? Oh no, there's a fourth! After a few incidents of more primitive messengers going into shock, they opted to conceal their appearance. Ah, okay. That's where the blue robes... ...came into play. Why are there only three, though? Thus, the Order of the Blue Robes was founded, and together they built their headquarters, the Tower of Time. Every curse cycle would have its champion, who would join the Order after passing the scroll to the next messenger. And that's me! With the support of the Blue Robes, after many cycles, the music box was reclaimed from the Fallon Temple. Even though the relic was too powerful to be destroyed, a new hope was found that day. This is long. It's gone on for nearly ten minutes. Yeah. I'm surprised. Mysterious forces of the world started materializing in the form of magical music notes. Hmm. After one particularly gifted messenger managed to gather two of them, an idea emerged. An idea crazy enough that it just might work. If they created a melody strong enough to breach the music box's protection spell, maybe a messenger could enter it and rescue Phantom. Oh! Would he not have gone crazy, though? So that's what I have to do. We're not done yet. So there you have it. I'm not sure what you'll find inside the music box, but if we have one shot at saving Phantom, this is it. Be on your guard. His mind will have conjured all sorts of traps. Good luck out there. Right, I want to save first. The music box beckons. Are you ready to face your last challenge, messenger? Nope. I will when I save. I probably wouldn't have to sit through that again anyway, but whatever. Just to be absolutely certain. I might be able to save inside the music box, but whatever. In we go! Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> we're being shrunk. Oh, look at us! We're mini! There it is. I wonder if this is just going to be a boss fight, or if it's going to be something else. Oh, the music! Oh, uh, cool. Whoa! Okay, there's a lot to this. Prophecy. Did the power of music the scroll will show me to its maker? Okay. Oh, that actually makes sense. Yeah, the scroll meeting its maker. Oh. Oh. I missed. Son of a bitch. Brett. Okay. Play up. You dick. Ooh. I'm just like, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh no. I'm, oh my god, I fucking died. 
Too goddamn steam. <laughs> of all the fucking things that could kill me. Jeez. I have three health. Oh my god. Well, I'm boned. Well, yep. I'm most certainly bon boned. Oh well. Maybe I'll be fine. I doubt it. Uh... You fucking dick. Oh god. Woo! Close. Nope. I just kinda wish they would give me health. That would be nice. There we go. Made it. Ah, oh, fuck. Trying to avoid the steam's the hardest part. Honestly. Hmm. There we go. And I made it. Hmm. Oh, that opens up that. Okay. And whoosh. I really hope they have a shop. What? Oh. Okay, now I can go over there. I see. Nice. There we go. I really need a shop. Like, that'll do. I don't need a shop now. Oh, that goes all the way to the top. Oh, fun. Oh, there's a shop! Alright, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't want to die. God. Dying then would just be embarrassing. And incredibly shameful. But of course. Woo! The fuck? Oh, that's... Okay, it's a wall. I didn't realise. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. Boop. Oh, God. Yeah. How the fuck? Yeah, I don't get this. Oh god. Ah, oh, that's how you're gonna do it, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I almost jumped. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what? Okay. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't know what the point in this is. Wait. I think I needed that to get up here. Honestly. There we go. Easy! What? Oh god. That was fucking dumb. All I wanted to do was jump off of it, but that didn't fucking work. It never does. Wait, what? Okay. I was about to say, why is it not... Reacting to the music. Oh my god.
There we go. I don't even need the time shards, so I don't care. There we go. Yeah, sweet. We're back. Hoorah! Yeah, screw you, buddy. Oh! Oh boy. Oh, I see. You have to do that. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. I did- I waited way too late. <clears throat> Rit. My favourite thing about this is how much I have to redo. Okay, cool. <sighs> okay. To be fair, it's, it's not actually all that much. Like, how much I have to redo. Still annoying, but still. Could be worse, I guess. What the fuck? Hmm. I may have broken the game. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, I've definitely broken the game. No, I'm out of bounds. Can't really do much. Um. Oh wait, what if I... Oh. Uh-oh. I should have just let... Oh wait. Never mind. I'm fine, I'm fine. Woo! Now oh, there we go. I'll, I'll just let the bird kill me. I won't be able to do anything otherwise. I can't believe of all the places to get stuck. What a dumb place. Ah, well that was a bust. On the plus side, we got to see a cool, like, out of bounds thing happen. God knows how the hell that happens. That should not have hurt me, and that is absolute bollocks. But whatever. Uh, uh. There we go. Alright, let's try and not die. Oh, in such a dumb way. Ooh. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna wait again. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. Oh. You fucking... <sighs> Great. That was... stupid. I fuck- I hate that so much. Uh, just this part of the game I'm, I'm not a big fan of. It's cool in terms of how it looks, I just, I really do not like the, the traversal. Not particularly. It's just a bit too much bullshit for my liking. It's not even like it's particularly difficult. Because I don't think it really is. Alright, get that. There we go. Whatever. I'll wait again, I guess. Let me try this. There we go. That worked better. Hallelujah. Don't have to worry about that bullshit again. Oh, I didn't even see that. My bad. Only downside to the windmill shuriken. 
It's mostly the fact. Okay. No, it's mostly the fact you've got to, um... Oh no, it's, it's, I don't know what I'm saying. It's got a lot less range, which I'm not a fan of. There we go. That works. That was easy. Oh. Oh! Not entirely sure what the point in this is. But I did it anyway. Hey, another save point. Good shit. Oh, crap. There we go. Woohoo! I need a fuck. Yeah, I didn't realize. There we go. Made it. Oh my. Yeah, kill this, please. Fuck. Ooh. Okay, that works. Okay, cool. We got it. That sucked. I got very close to death. That's for sure. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay. How? Oh, wait. I didn't even see that one up there. God. Ah, oh, there we go. I can do that. Switching to this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And then boom. Boom. Oh wait. Oh, it doesn't matter which time period it is. I also don't need to worry about that. There we go. Woohoo! Oh boy. I love how I failed instantly. Ooh, close. That room was bizarre. I don't really understand what the point in it was. Whatever. Oh, great. Why not just duck under that? I'm just wondering. It certainly seems like it's something you would be able to do. I don't know. Oh, cool. That was dumb. Oh! Oh wait, this is simple enough. Mm-hmm. Whoosh. Yeah, some of these puzzles are just bizarre. Oh, there we go. Help! Oh boy. Uh... Ooh. That was simple. <laughs> I'll take it. I do like how it's all synced with the music, though. Honestly, I, I like this area, I just didn't like the the area where I had to use the, the hook a lot. That just mostly sucked. Yeah. Ooh. Wait. Oh god. Jeez. What am I supposed to do here? Maybe? Oh god. That works. Ah, shit. Well, crap. Oof. 
masterful save. That's what that was. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. No! Oh god. Ah, good. Fuck! What the- Oh my god, I can't fucking do this now. Bullshit. There we go, god. Oh. Hello. up I have to be careful. This probably won't hesitate to crush me. Oh, never mind. We fine. Oh, no health. No save point either. Isn't that fun? What? Oh dear. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know what's going to change. Oh dear. Woo! There we go. Yay! What the hell is this? I'm about to say, I don't really understand what the hell the point in this is. Okay, that was simple. Okay. That was a cool room. Hell yeah. More of that, please. It's not hard at all when you got a windmill shuriken. What the fuck? Holy crap. Oh dear. I think I was meant to use the hook. It worked. Whatever. Wait. Oh. Wait. Then again, I can do this. Can I use that to destroy? Yeah, I can. Oh, there we go. That opens that up. There we go. I think. So if I go through here, and down... There we go. Perfect. Hooray! Oh, another save point. Perfect. How long is the music box? Surprised. I'm still probably gonna start Picnic Panic in this, this this session, but we'll see. What the hell? Oh dear. Woohoo! <laughs> that was easy. Hell yeah! Oh boy. Hmm. Well, whatever. I don't care. Wait. 